a moment, please. Thank you. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, how can I help you? Your uh, sales are looking to rent. I'd like to buy a house. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I've got, I've got time now. Lovely. Okay, please, please take a seat. Would you like uh, tea or coffee? You're fine. Okay. Okay, so how can I help you? What? Tell me a bit about yourself and the type of uh, your ideal home. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're. Um, Okay, so you're actually downsizing. Okay, and uh, how many, what kind of house have you got right now? Wow. Well, a four bed, okay, and uh, three floors. Gosh, that must be some house. Mm -hmm. so, um, so why are you looking to downsize? Okay, your, your family have moved to Australia? Right. Is that to get far away from you? <laughs> well, that's usually the reason people go to the other side of the world, right? To get away from their families. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And so what's your kind of ideal, ideal house? You'd like more bedrooms if possible. Um, right. Uh, okay, that's that's not technically downsizing. You want a five bed? Okay, um, sorry just to interrupt you there. I just need to absolutely, be absolutely clear about the type of your ideal home so we can make sure we get the best best place for you. You're, you're, you said you want to downsize because your kids are moving away. Um, let's forget about the reasons now for the time being. Um, yeah. Okay, now that you're in a four bed right now. And you actually want five bed? Okay, so what sense is that downsizing? Okay, so you actually want somewhere cheaper. Okay, and do you know the value of your house right now? One point five million. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, I guess it depends where you're, you're looking really. Whether you can get something cheaper for you. Um. I mean, I would advise you if you are looking for a place just for yourself. Um going from a four bed with three floors if you're finding that quite difficult with the stairs and to go to the to go into a five bed with three three floors doesn't sound that oh okay okay no absolutely it's your it's entirely it's entirely your choice okay in my opinion okay well it's in your position we've got a lot of really lovely places for you that I could I could strongly recommend. Yeah, would would you let me just type in um some information on the system and see what comes up? Great, okay. Just bear with me. Okay, and uh where are you living at the moment? Lovely. Okay, and the kind of area you're looking to move to. Okay. 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 This is a nice place. Yeah, okay, so we've got a lovely two bedroom property. It 
it's um, a bungalow, so straight away that's a lot more suitable if your front stairs a bit difficult. Um, yes, yeah, so in a retirement village, close proximity to the shops. It's a lovely spacious property. Um, it has an adapted shower. Okay, you're fit and healthy, that's fine, but you know, used to say you might slip and fall down the three, four flights of steps and you're no longer in that position, so you need to think about these things. Uh -huh, it's got a lot of um, local amenities. It's, um, it's conveniently close to uh, things like a, a funeral parlour, uh, florists, solicitors, anything you might need, someone, someone your age. Okay. Well, a lot of people in your position would, would give their right arm for this kind of thing. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, you're not interested in me, in that piece of, that property, okay. Um, have you seen somewhere on our website that you'd be interested in looking at? You have, okay. Well, absolutely, that's, my job is to find someone that's ideal for you, um, and if you're telling me that you've found your ideal property and you want to move in as soon as possible, um, even if it's not technically downsizing, then who am I to criticise that, of course. I'm just giving you um, my, my very experienced opinion here, but that's fine, not everyone wants my advice. Okay, I just tend to give it freely. Okay, dear. Do you want to give me the postcode of this property you've seen? Oh, okay, that, that's actually not our, one of our properties. That's one of our competitors. Okay. No, that is unique to that competitor. Oh, I'm really sorry about that, but I, I can't do anything about that. I, I'm that's out of my hands, I'm unable to ring them up and ask if we can take that property over as much as I'd love to. Oh, I, I do understand that was your dream property. Can Have you seen anything else on our website that you might want to check out? Okay, you could have another one. Okay, can I have the postcode? Thank you. EF, thank you. Okay, yeah, this is one of ours as well. Okay, so this is a five bed, and this is the, wow, three floors, that's a, that's a big house for a little person, I think someone like you, you need a mouse house. Oh, it's for family coming to stay, okay, is that likely? Okay, so you've got several pets, and they, they need a room each, right? Oh. Okay, yeah, that's, um, no, no, I'm not judging, just, just curious. Oh, and you've got a dog, okay, and he's, he's got his own wardrobe. He's used to his own wardrobe space, okay. And what was his name? Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice name. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that your hamster died last week. So you want this house to be in his memory? No, I mean, you know, some people grieve. I mean, it doesn't really, it's not really about the size of the bed, it's it. Some people grieve, um, uh, smaller creatures than hamsters, I suppose. It's, it's whatever you've got the bond with, isn't it? Oh, the bungalow? You did like the sound of what I was saying? Well, yeah, I mean, what was your hamster's name, did you say? Fluffy, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that's what Fluffy definitely would have wanted. Oh, you've got a picture of Fluffy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to see. Oh, yeah. Definitely hamster. He was certainly quite a fluffy hamster, wasn't he? Is that where you got the... Yeah, that's where you got the name and inspired you, didn't it? Okay. Did you, um... 
Did you both write his birth? Well, he liked that, did he? Oh, okay, so I take it you, you love your pets. Okay, I'm beginning to understand now. So the house you want has to be has to be ideal for your pets too. Okay. Yeah, I can I can arrange a viewing for sure at uh, at the bungalow. And did you you did want to look at the side bed? Okay, I mean even if you wanted to get um, not not that I'm suggesting that any other hamster of course would re replace uh, Fluffy, but um. If you did, when you have grief, when you've come to terms with Fluffy's demise and you did want to look into getting another hamster or two, suddenly five bedrooms would still be too much for a hamster, even if they had one room each and um, a, a hamster playroom, surely. I mean, of course, even, they're quite small, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can arrange a viewing for two for, for both of those properties if you want. That's not a problem. Okay, well let me take your details and um we can arrange a viewing with one of my colleagues. Okay, so can I have your name please? And is that um spelled as it's as it sounds? Oh, interesting, okay. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. Where, where's that? Where does that come from? You don't know? And you don't care? Oh, that's fine. I didn't mean to cause any offence by that. Okay. Well, if you're offended by that, you, um, I'm afraid I'll have to ask your date of birth. Okay. Okay. Nineteen forty three. Interesting. Okay. Okay. And uh, first one of your dress, please. Twenty three. And how many reception rooms are you looking for? Okay, three, okay. And uh, en suite? Yeah, but how about I guess? I, I, you look like that kind of person who would need an en suite. <laughs> yeah, each of their own. On a south facing garden, if possible. I'm not sure if the garden, the five bedroom. It's a south facing, but um, well, I suppose you could do an extension. But if it's already a five bedroom house and three reception rooms, I'm not quite sure why you need to extend. But that's presumably that's, that's really not my place to say, although I have actually said it. Well, you know, sometimes you can be in the job too long, can't you? See all kinds of characters. Yeah, I'm not really an animal fan. She'd fur everywhere. But hey, your, your fluffy looked quite the animal. Quite the character. What, what happened to fluffy then? Okay. Fluffy had depression? Like a uh, hamster depression? Oh, okay. Well, I suppose if, if we can get depression, so can hamsters. Yeah, I suppose you can't give them pros out, right? Okay, can I have your telephone number, please? Plus the error code here, that always helps. Thank you. And, uh, do you, do you use email? Do you, do you have a computer, or...? One of those uh, similar machines. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think we need to uh, <clears throat> really use telegrams these days, but okay. 
No, okay, we can, absolutely, we can correspond via your address and your lemonade, that's fine. You have a pager? Wow, that's, um, let's go and get back some. Yeah, by all means, if that's your preferred mode. Did you get that pager thinking you'd be right at the forefront of cutting edge technology then? Just goes to show, doesn't it? Splash out. I think you're one of the early adopters, and before you know it, you're a laggard. Such is life. Great, okay. Okay, and my colours will be attached to a range of you then. Okay. Thank you. Okay, take care now. And uh, say hi to Fluffy for me when you visit him in his, his resting place. Huh. <laughs>